another ill. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they split? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Reaching my goals, I do not feel ashamed. I'm a dog, I'm a beast, and I cannot be tamed. I don't do it for fame, it's the love for the game. I go in like I'm trained. I'm prepared for the rain, they amazed. I ain't break from the sticks and stones they threw. Anything that you can do, I can do it better than you. No matter what. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Minnesota Vikings and the Brooklyn Bulls. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. Start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And they're on 31 yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10. And officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A handoff as they run the counter play. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. yesterday that's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive establish the ground game yeah remember our conversation we were talking about what one of the gms in the league has told me repeatedly it's a big man's game and it's not necessarily size he's talking about playing some big boy football line up get leverage knock people back and establish the run early and incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it and it took the ball off course On second down, they'll try and run the counter. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. And 10. Play action. Burris. That's into the hands of Edwards. That is into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. A nice throw there by the second year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. And now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line.
defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal four and take it. The Vikings take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are we a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. Here's second and seven now from the 28. complete on the slant round and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45 that one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards first you can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far a much needed first down there they needed something good to happen plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole a good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Dexter Lawrence in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. We're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got a guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, He's got second and third down to fall back on. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the 19-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they got a lot of they've seen from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want well to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. To throw on third down. Burks. This will be caught inside the 10. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the 8. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. A great effort there. With touchdown number eight on the year. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21 0. Makes the score, Bulls 21, Vikings nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. The Vikings take over first 
and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Play fake here on first down. And he's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right, they're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's second down and ten. Two seconds to go, first quarter. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And it's caught on the right side of Smith. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. 16 yards. And the Vikings first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Throwing it in here on second down, this time complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's a gain of 35. Minnesota. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. The Vikings leave the offense on the field as they're going to line up and go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he'll get in for the score. And that's going to cut the lead down to 13. Vikings eight. Daniel Carlson. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Takes this about five yards deep. And all deep in his own territory, calls up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery. But he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The throw on the quick slam going to be complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Six-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And that play goes 
goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And they're going to face a third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got Harrison left side complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 26. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. And to give this time the tailback. And down inside the 15 he goes. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. At the 14 yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be second down. At the six yard line. scrimmage and taken down he got maybe a half yard at most but officially they'll be left with a third and two and this offense on third down today a perfect four for four thus far this time they face a third and two and he will take this one in for a touchdown it's the fullback his first touchdown on the year and his guys are going to add on to their lead and he wasn't blocking or running it there to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They use their pullback and pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. Their catch made at the 25-yard line. The Vikings take over first down 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. down at about the 38. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. A gain of five. First down, Minnesota. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So they have the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's going to float this one deep right side. Boy, Brandon, that's what I call no advised pass. 
house right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. stretch that lead. Sometimes running plays hit or break so fast, there's no reaction time from the secondary. So I've got to give credit to the offensive line for creating that hole so suddenly. And how decisive was he to take that cut and just go? No one downfield there to stop it. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This taken in about four yards deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You've got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now in the middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to it even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off here the 32. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. They'll take over. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if you're starting through four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Operating from the gun. Harris. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up at the 41. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. He shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he comes back with one complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate game. He loses the football a second time. And the defense will get their hands on it. Go the other way. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Covered by the defense. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. 
Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29 Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory. So they a heavy rush, and down he goes. Jordan Brooks able to record his fifth sack of the season. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that... Well, he's got daylight! It's a foot race! Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 76 yards! And the Vikings are able to close the gap just a bit. The Vikings leave the offense on the field as they're going to line up and go for two. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light day. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Now they try the right side here. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, kind of just took his medicine there and took the run here. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there. You might have a smaller back. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards in a first. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 
A nice carry there of 15 yards. Oh, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 15 yeah, yards yeah, last play and 15 yards here this go around. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. To throw on second down. Close. That's complete. Right around the eight. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that stretches the lead to 27. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Takes it at the 7. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Throw again on second down. This one's complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Look at this. Big game. Is they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the three-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw to Jefferson on the slant. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And the Vikings first down. They'll set up a throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just let him bleed the game out that way. Looking middle, and that's complete. Complete. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, 
Keeps the sticks moving. They'll look to throw now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down, Minnesota. Back to throw again. And now here's another interception. Picked off here, the 32. Pass the 20. when that pick six makes that scoreboard even more outside. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23 yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A loss of two brings up. Second. Here we go on second and 12. The 21 yard line. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. The pass. It's a gain of five, and they're going to have a third down. Five yards on the play, and it's third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Traffic there, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent, and they have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game, and they've done a great job of doing that. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down on a gain of 10. So after a run like that, I will guarantee that the head coach is saying to himself, maybe even over his headsets to the rest of the staff, what was that all game long? We need it. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Mike Hughes came crashing in that time, got the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. tight end. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. The throw over the middle, taken in, and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, Minnesota. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That's complete. Right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him six on the play. And that'll make it second down. Brings up second and four. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. 
Extra point right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. 14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Vikings now to start their next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. That one good for 26 and a first down. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's kept the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can